Hello YouTube, today we'll be talking about modern physics and special relativity. So, um, there are a lot of videos I found on YouTube that discuss like the theory behind special relativity, but I'm going to take a look at um, a specific example problem in this video, um, dealing with length contraction. Whoa, what happened? There we go. So, length contraction pretty much, um, as Einstein explained, was that as something, as an object moves uh, near the speed of light, that object will be stretched or will be longer. Um, so, here is this um, idea in action. So, so you're in Carl's spaceship is moving. Oh, this is the wrong problem. One moment. My apologies, I had a time dilation example up there. Um, please take a moment to read uh, this problem here. It says, according to the observer on Earth, a spacecraft is whizzing by at 0.6 C. That is 35 meters long. What is the length of the spacecraft according to the passengers on board? Um, so the problem is going to go away, and you're going to see another problem there instead. It's incorrect, but I edited this incorrectly, so my bad. Um, but here's a situation which I will draw for you. So there's a spaceship whizzing by at some velocity, and that velocity is 0.6 C, which is 60 time, or 60% uh, the speed of light. Um, you, down there on planet Earth or some planet, are watching uh, Carl, and you notice, hey, that spaceship looks to be like 35 meters long. Well, how long is it really? Well, we can figure that out. Um, that is what's called L naught, or true length. And true length is what we're looking for. And pretty much true length is called proper length, another way to call it. And what it really means is that it's the object, the length of the object when it's at rest. So when this observer is seeing the spaceship whooshing by, whoosh, like the spaceship is flying super fast, it looks 35 meters long. But what is its actual length? Um, so now we'll get to see what that looks like. So um, here is... An example of Einstein's theory uh, we're dealing with length contraction. It says length is its proper length over uh, gamma. And we'll talk about what gamma is real quick. So gamma is how, quote-unquote, relativistic something is. Um, so uh, relativi relativity comes into play when gamma is greater than 1. Um, classical physics, Newtonian physics, Galilean, you know, uh, physics that you're normally used to, like F equals ma and... Um, all the equations for like position, velocity, acceleration um, are true when um, things are not moving really fast. So things are not moving near the speed of light. And when things do move the speed of light, that's where Newtonian physics fails. So this is where special relativity and general relativity come into play. So gamma describes to you how fast the object is moving. Say you had a gamma of 2 you could be moving about 87% the speed of light. So the equation that Einstein er, denoted for gamma here, um, or defined gamma as, is 1 over uh, the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And we know v, so why don't we find out what that is. Um, and that's how uh, length contraction is denoted um, as well by the 1 over gamma is just to get rid of the 1 over now it becomes multiplied so that's just the formula there and going back to the calculation here you just plug in 0.6c and we note that gamma is 1.25 and remember gamma has to be greater than 1 um, and technically can go to infinity um, and infinity would be the speed of light by the way um, so we know that uh, the gamma is how relativistic the problem is so we're moving pretty fast, you know, 60% the speed of light. So we simply plug in the numbers and we're going to use the first equation up top there and you just use gamma directly. Um, and then we note that, look, the true length or the proper length is 43.75 meters, which is greater than the 35 meters that we originally defined, um, originally saw here. Um, so what does that mean? Uh, that means the ship may appear shorter, but really, uh, it's longer than you think. So uh, that's kind of the relativistic portion um, for the calculations here in terms of what do the numbers mean, but I wanted to show a uh, numerical calculation uh, to hopefully get a better understanding of what the theory covers.
So thanks for watching.